Well, I suppose our involvement with young people goes all the way back to the very beginning of the company because uh, I was 23 years old. I was full of confidence, probably lacking in experience, but looking for success, pretty much like most young people, looking for that opportunity to make your way in the world. And uh, from the very beginning, I uh, saw the opportunity to, to bring young people into the business and uh, one of our very first employees was a YTS trainee. The difference now is 25% of our office team here at Breakin are under the age of 25, which in itself is a huge success and there are trainees across every part of our business in every department. As we grew as a business, we learned very early on that it was often difficult to find the right people to help make that business a success finding the right people with the right skills, the attitudes and the values that fitted with our business. We were growing rapidly, indeed have continued to do so. So we needed to find skilled people and recruitment often didn't work. So we had to find another solution. And that solution, it turned out, was to develop young people, to develop the talent ourselves. And it certainly has been the solution to what otherwise would have been a huge problem for us. So the real transformation came in 2003 when we moved to Brecon. We made contact with Brecon High School. And at that point, we started to develop the links with the school that have grown into this hugely successful partnership that we all benefit from today. In the early years, it was very easy to get involved. We were simply taking part in school events, often just showcasing our industry and its career opportunities. But we began to realize that there was a huge opportunity there to showcase ourselves, to show ourselves as an employer of choice, for those talented young people who might like to come and join Forrester and have a career with us in the future. Now, of course, it's usually rewarding to watch those young people applying and obviously joining the business. And it's become a huge success for everyone involved. I was still at high school. Um, Maureen Douglas, the HR manager at the time, came in to present to the school kids about the opportunity Forster had um, in the commercial department. So I decided to apply for it then. I had an interview and then very quickly was involved in the team. The positive is coming straight out of school and into the business are the fact that you land on your feet straight away. You're actually on the job learning is a massive benefit rather than sitting in a college. Sometimes it doesn't reflect what you're actually going to have to do after school and whatnot. When I came in, I actually got to choose which path I went down in the business. I had the opportunity going down the purchasing side of things or the surveying side of things. I chose the surveying side and I just shadowed the quantity surveyor for about two and a half, three years as a trainee. And that's pretty much where my training came from. I was in fast track in Angus College and did a HNC in construction, which has now led to my surveying qualification. So we've learned that there are a huge number of talented young people who desperately want to work. They may not see further education as a future for them when they're leaving school, not at that particular point in time. It may well be that they simply want to start to build a career. They want to, they want to learn, of course they want to learn. They want a qualification in the future, quite possibly, but most of all they want to work. They want to make a start in life, get on the career path. And of course, coming from school, those young people are hugely adaptable. They bring new ideas. They're incredibly quick at learning and highly creative. And all of those skills transfer incredibly easily into the business. I think it's quite a good opportunity for younger people to get like an experience of working in an office area and to actually like get to see if they do want to go down that career path. I got the opportunity of doing work experience and there was only a couple of people who got to do it. So I was the first person this year to go down in August and then I did my seven week block and I enjoyed it. So I sent Laud in my CV and cover letter and then she sent me at the start of January the list of jobs that I'm able to apply for. I liked the HR department, I liked everyone in it, so I was like, well, this is the one I want. And then the school agreed to let me come down and do one day a week and I go full time soon. I like the people that work here and I feel like it's a very friendly environment to work in. And I'm also looking forward to like expanding my skills within admin and also getting a qualification while working and getting the experience. One of the things we've had to do is face up to the scale of the challenge in front of us, not just for us as a company, but for our industries as a whole. The house building industry, of which we're a major part, is set to double in size, and the solar business that we're a very important part of now is expected to multiply 10 times from the current size it is. So our Skills Academy is vitally important to us, just the same as growing skills are, are so important across all of our industry. And our Skills Academy is different. 
It changes the learning experience. It's more inclusive. It's more involving. We have young people who are developing a greater knowledge and a deeper understanding, and not just of the job, but understanding their role in the business. So we're not just delivering the Skills Academy for a growing business, but we're also doing it for a better business. We're looking for higher standards of service, higher standards of quality, and greater technical capability than we've ever had before. These are dynamic markets that we operate in. Renewables, and solar in particular, one of the most exciting sectors for any young person to join today. And it's really pleasing to see that in the initial applications for our first six places in our Skills Academy, we had over a thousand applicants. That's a huge number of young people desperately keen to join the sectors that we're involved in and obviously keen to join Forster. I joined the company back in 2011. I went to Brecon High School and one of my teachers actually told me about two vacancies Forster had. So I had another teacher help me create a CV and covering letter. I then applied, got an interview the next week and I came and started two days later. I had never been in a professional sort of job before, so I had no previous experience, even simple things like producing letters, etc. Um, so I received a lot of one-on-one -on -one training with my manager, so she would allocate me tasks, explain how we go about doing them, and then once I'd completed them, we would review it together and she'd maybe give me tips and pointers on perhaps improving. And what I had done. I think it's actually really great in such a small community um, Forrester provides so many opportunities for young people who are perhaps not interested in going to college or university like myself I had a, a general idea of that I wanted to work in an office that was kind of my goal and Forrester provided me with that opportunity and kind of let me develop my knowledge within the working environment and then eventually it led me into HR. So if any business wants to grow and prosper, then young people are an essential part of the future. We're in a growing economy, but where are the skilled people going to come from? You could place an ad, wait for the phone to ring, or perhaps we should go out and find our own solution. We faced that very challenge, and we chose to tackle it by bringing in young people and developing our own talent. And what a huge success that that has been and the dividends for our business are simply enormous.